Hey everybody, it's Yael again with the Richmond Art Center. Uh, I want to follow up my last video about the quarantine zine um, with a few other formats for zines that you can make. On that last video I made the 8 page mini. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you a 4 page one. Uh, 16 page tiny mini. And then the foldy, the one that keeps getting bigger as you unfold it. Ready? Let me switch cameras. So first things first, the four page is like super easy, right? It's it's really good if you um, are more into making panels for your comics because it gives you more place to, to play with layout. But basically, you just take a piece of paper and fold it into four. And you have a front cover, Two pages on the inside and one on the back. It helps when you're planning it to sort of see, maybe number the pages. And then you can see when you unfold it that they're um, like head to head. They're upside down. Um, I, uh, I will attach a link to a little diagram of all the layouts for this. It's very easy. So that's easy. Front, back, inside spread. Four pages. Next, we're gonna do is a tiny mini. This is my little, I actually have a bunch of things like this about how to make the little zine. Um, so this little tiny book has 14 inside pages, a front cover and a back cover. And it does require a tiny little bit of glue, which we have not needed so far. So far we only needed to this. Um, this is sort of the drawing of this part, but I'm also gonna show you. So first thing you're gonna do, you're going to fold your paper this time into 16 sections. So, in half, and then when it, when it starts to be so many folds, folding the, over the half so you're not getting, not really getting really, um, the paper isn't doubling over so many times, I think makes a nicer fold. So it's sort of more accurately half. So in half, and then another quarter, and another quarter. And so I have 16 squares. And then... I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut across three panels, leaving the fourth one attached. I'm going to come from the other side, and I'm going to cut these three panels, and leave the fourth one attached. Yes, I'm going to move right, and come back on the other side, cut these three panels, and leave the fourth one attached. And so I end up with sort of like a snake like this. Really. And this is again a place where numbering would help. I'm going to show you the one that looks like this one just to be consistent with the template I'm going to give you. But I think you can see how, if you wanted to have full 16 pages inside and make the cover out of a separate piece of paper, then you would fold it a little bit differently. But I think you can figure that out if that's what you want to do. So for this um, purpose, this will be the front cover and this will later fold over the whole thing. So this is page one and page two. And then when you get to the end of the row, you just fold it um, over and then sort of continue accordion it, accordion, accordion, sorry, back and forth, so you get the end of the row, and you fold it over, and then again, more, back and forth, next one, folding over, and then, at the end, you glue the back of the last page with the back of the back cover, and then it's closed, but so if you're going to make copies, uh, I would not glue your master. I would only glue your uh, copies that you're, you're done with. Because that way, you can unfold this whole thing, lay it out on a copy machine or a scanner, and easily make those copies. And then you print those, and cut and fold them, and actually glue the cover. For those, that makes sense. So like, this is an unglued version of that one. Right? So on the first row, I have my back cover, my front cover, and my first two pages. Um, when I make my final copies of these to sell, I, you see they're glued, and I also I add a little googly eye to the back just in case googly eyes have fun. Okay, and for this last one, um, I don't have an example here with me, but I'm just going to show it to you and do the numbering like I did with the four page. This is um, a, a double-sided one, uh, because as you're unfolding it, you, you do end up on the middle. Um, and you can kind of play with this one at the, how small you want it to start. I don't know, I guess let's go 16 and see what happens. So, I just fold the paper down. So 16 sections. Where's my pen go? Where's my pen? Then this is my first page. 
I'm going to move to um, second page. And then I'm going to open it this way. And this is going to be page three. I'm going to open it this way. And this is going to be page four. And page five is going to be the big reveal on the inside. And then when you look at the, the layout of this thing, and this, this is the back cover. And over here is the front, front cover. Back cover. Page two. This whole thing is page three. This whole thing is page four, but it's facing this way. You notice one and two are not facing the same direction either. And then five. So that's fun. It's a really fun one for um, when you maybe like zooming in on something and it keeps getting or zooming out, keeps getting bigger or smaller. Um, doesn't require any cutting and any gluing. So if you don't have scissors or glue, that's a great one. Um, gosh, I also owe you one more thing because I kept saying when I was doing the first video that if you don't have scissors, I'll show you how um, to do the eight page menu without scissors. Uh, so here, I'm just going to put this fold to eight pages. And then, I don't know, I'm sure you all have tried to cut paper without scissors, actually, and I have a feeling you all know that, that how you do this, but still, I'm going to show you. This is also a nice little refresher to how to make the eight page menu. So, I just fold it into eight pieces, and then I'm going to fold it in half. And remember, I want to cut just this part only halfway through, but so if I don't have scissors, in the olden times, when you were allowed to spit on things, or cut things with our mouths, I would very gently just, like, um, lick the edge, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take some water, I'm going to dab my finger, and get that edge that I want to cut a little bit wet. And then I'm going to gently tear it. I'm only halfway through, right? Leaving that last section intact. And then I'm going to come back. And come back this way. And fold it. Make it a scarf. And squish it together. To make my eight-page mini. I'm going to follow the section we've been following today. And I'm going to number these. Eight pages. Just so you can see. Um, this, this one is also, also doing the direction thing. Where, like, the first... I guess it, where page one falls depends on how you fold it. But the main thing is that one row is facing this way, and the other row is facing this way, so they're also head-to-head, -head, so that, it, none of the pages are upside down. Uh, so just one more thing. I was just watching back what I recorded, and I was noticing how much I was struggling with uh, folding down the foldy, um, the one that opens gradually. And this is also could be helpful to all of your zines if your paper is any thicker than mine. But when things start to get like so thick that they won't, like this, see, this one won't really close, then you can take the side of a pen or like the, um, the handle side of your scissors and press down your folds. This will make them tighter and neater. And now the little foldy stays closed, which is exciting. You can do this to all of them. Um, so these are three more kinds of zines that you can make, bringing it to a total of Four, which is so many options. Um, do you just know that there's more? There's sort of infinite possibilities. Once you uh, get into this, you can like make as many pages as the story that you want to make is really. Um, I hope this was clear enough. I will also. Um, there should be a document below with a link to like clear layouts of how the pages are laid out, just in case you end up with upside down pages um, to, or to avoid you ending up with upside down pages. Um, I hope you make some awesome zines. I hope I can somehow see them and I'll see you again soon.